Gary Rich, how are you doing? I know I'm back here. We're talking about The Hard Way, starring Michael J. White, Luke Goss. Oh, my God, Luke Goss. And Randy Coulter. Right, so, what's the story, Gal? Well, basically, um, Michael J. White, who I'm a big fan of, actually, great action hero. He has had his brother killed in Romania. He's running a club in New York, a jazz club. He goes over there to find out what the hell went on, speaks to Randy Coulter, who's his boss, and Luke Goss, and uh, basically it all kicks off from there, they're involved in the Romanian Mafia, and uh, from there on in, it's very predictable. So, why did I watch this? Well, Netflix obviously must have put the money into this film, if they did, that's fair enough. Uh, I found the film a bit, how can I put this, a bit predictable in certain parts. The actual fight scenes were very good. I actually like the fight scenes and I'll tell you why. I'm a big fan of Michael J. White. I actually rate him very highly. I I actually think that he's one of the better fighters that's come out of the last few years out of American cinema. As for Luke Goss, Luke Goss I like a lot actually. He acts very well in this. It's Randy Coulter I have problems with, the ex-UFC I think he fought. And uh, he's basically so wooden it's embarrassing. I mean, he's from the same fucking acting school as that 50 cents, or as he's known in my house, 5 cents. I don't rate him. He, he looks like he's reading the script, but of course he can fight and he's a hard man. Um, Randy just plods along in the film. The other two, Luke and uh, Michael J. Uh, White, are very good in it. Uh, the reason they're filming in Romania is probably something to do with their tax laws because Steven Seagal, with his dyed hair, has been out there for quite a while and uh, it always looks like there's people out there you want to beat up in Romania. I've got to be careful because I've got probably about 50 Romanian friends on my Facebook who uh, I've worked with over the years on the cruise ship. So uh, I actually quite like Romanians. They're great musicians and great dancers. But to be fair to them, they do look like they need a slap and in this film they get plenty of slaps. Uh, what would I give the film? I would give the film possibly a 5 out of 10. It is predictable. I knew what was coming. I knew how it was going to end. And uh, I enjoyed it. It was all right. It was just a quick, you know, hour and a half of your life you're not going to worry about. And as I say, if you like Michael J. White, he does what he does best. The whole film was fine, filmed entirely in uh, Romania. They never went near New York. And uh, it is worth a watch. But I wouldn't get overexcited about it. Now, I've just watched... Um, Van Damme in a movie called uh, To Die Too Young. He looks like a rent boy in that. He really does need to think about retiring Van Damme. He just plods along in this film. He's a deaf and dumb guy who uh, can only speak for his phone. And uh, it's just absolute garbage. It really is terrible. And again, a very predictable movie. On TV in the UK, I'm watching Baptiste, which I like very much. I am watching True Detectives because obviously with Mashallah Ali uh, in that... Uh, part it is well worth watching as for other things coming up i'm looking forward to billions i can't wait for billions uh, that to me is the best written script out of america and of course we've got the game of thrones which i've had to give into because i am enjoying games of thrones i'm looking forward to seeing that in april as for people that have sent me messages about my health thank you very much indeed i am uh, having tests done i am going in for an ops um, operation not this week, the following week on a Monday, and hopefully that will find out what's going on, and then we start using all the uh, treatment that I need to get rid of whatever I've got, which I know what it is, but I think you know what it is, but I've got to get rid of it. So it's one of those. So thank you very much for all the messages. Um, so once again, if you're thinking about watching this film, well, you know, Netflix, spending lots of money, and this one I don't think they spent too much on. I want to talk about Luke Goss, actually, because um, to be fair to him... He's actually turning into quite a good little actor, actually. I don't mind him. I mean, he's not a great actor, don't get me wrong. Just looking at something on here, I apologise for that. But he's not what I would call a great actor. But if you've ever seen a documentary with him and his brother, it is a fascinating uh, documentary because, I mean, the fact that they're bitching each other before and after the concert is hilarious. And uh, it's well worth a watch if you haven't seen it. It's one of my favourite uh, documentaries from uh, the uh, period of Christmas. It really is worth watching. So... I am gonna, not going to drag on talking just for the sake of it. I'm going to give this 5 out of 10. You heard what I said. If you like action scenes, watch it because it is well choreographed. And if anything else comes along this week, I will definitely have a look. Uh, as you've heard me say before, this is a bad time of year for movies. Bad time of year. There's not a lot going on. That's the reason I haven't really commented, to be honest with you. Um, 
That's it, basically. I watched, what did I watch the other day with the family? I watched Isn't It Romantic, something like that, which wasn't bad. It's the Australian girl who uh, gets a bump on her head and she's in a world of... Uh, She's in a world of comedy where everything is not real. So she's a big girl, the Australian... Don't ask me her name, but she's a big girl, the Australian girl. And she's uh, running around and she's in a film. But she, she knows she's dreaming it, but she's in a film where everybody loves her and she's the in-girl. And uh, the guy who plays Four, I forget his name, Hensworth, he's, uh, he's her lover in it. It's quite funny, some of it is, but it's, again, a bit predictable, to be honest. Well, I've gone, you know, I wouldn't go over the top about it, but it's worth a watch if you're around the cinema. Right, that'll do for now. I don't want to be rambling on. Nice, once again, leave a subscribe. If you want to subscribe, leave a comment. I don't mind. You know I'm always here for you. And if there's anything you've seen that you think I should have a look at, please let me know. As for Netflix film... They're coming and they're coming thick and fast. I still haven't watched a film that I'm very angry about that I'm going to watch, which is about the boy that harnessed the wind. I am going to watch that. Even if the rest of my family don't, I will definitely watch that in the next few days. So take care and I'll see you all soon.